Hello, my loves, and welcome back. It's your girl, Marquita, with Marquita LV Luxury. On today, I have another exciting video to share with you guys. As you can see, I do not have on a belt because we are going to spice up and use these bandeaus and add some creativity to our outfit and our LV bags in our collection. Before we get started, make sure you view my past video, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend how much fun we have over here. Don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. You can also email me if you have a special request. If you would like for me to do a review on an LV bag or any luxury bag, as long as I have it in my collection, I'll be sure to try to get that video up for you. Now that we got all of that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine, grab some tea, and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Your girl got the tea, so now let's talk LV. I am going to first show you how I store my bandos. Some of my bandos I have on some of my handbags in my collection. I didn't want to go through taking all of the bandos off, so I am going to actually show you what I have out. And I'm going to show you how I actually clean my bandos and also take the wrinkles out after use. Okay, so I'm going to flip the camera around, show you how I store my bandos, and I'll flip it back and show you how I steam clean them. Okay? Let's get started. This is how I store my bandos. I previously, in the past, did a video um, on my closet tour, and this was actually designed for um, ties. And so when the designer brought this up to me, I was like, this would be perfect for my bandos. So this is one side of my bandos, and I try to be as organized as possible. And as you can see, the ones that are quite wrinkled are the ones that I actually took off of a handbag and I haven't had time to actually just steam clean and get those wrinkles out. And so it's just simple. After use, I just hang them up and I slide this rack right back in. This is the other side. And as you can see, I have these here in the front and these have like the little snake head ends. <laughs> yes, I named them whatever I wanted. Um, it just seemed like the ends look like snake heads on these bandos, but um, I do love them. And of course, this does pull out as well. And on this side, I leave the, the wider bandos here. And here they are. And this one that's missing is actually on a bag. But as stated, I love to keep the wider bandos on this side just to keep them separated and somewhat organized. And after I grab what I want, or once I put the bando back up, I slide it right back in. And so as stated, if you can see, this one is wrinkled. I took this one off of my reverse on the go. I do have a video and a picture on Instagram with this bando on there. And so if I was to wear this bando either with an outfit or put it on another bag, I will steam clean it first and also um, steam it just to get the wrinkles out. I hope you enjoyed just my little quick preview of my bando setup. As stated, I want to show you what I actually use to steam clean these bandos and actually how I get the wrinkles out. I do not put them in the washing machine. I do not put them in the dryer at all. I hardly use the bandos for wear and they don't stay on my bags long. And so they're not actually just dirty, but this is, I believe, a better way to keep them clean and wrinkle free. So as you can see, I took this off of a bag and as you can see, it is wrinkled on both sides. And this is the steam cleaner that I use. I purchased this off Amazon. I have actually bought three. And this one has lasted the longest. It is, um, it's, not, it's not expensive at all compared to the other steamers that I did purchase. I would say it is more expensive, but it is worth it. It's worth it. I even use this um, for my t-shirts. 
when I don't want to weight and I don't want to iron, it works perfect. I just hold it up, I would say about five to six inches away from the bandeau, and I just go up and down. I turn it over to the other side, and I repeat the same thing. And I put it back on my, on my shelf. And I'm good to go. And like I said, you just fill it up. It says max. You just fill it up with water, just like an iron, and it works perfect. So if you are interested in this, I will have the information, the link in the description box. And feel free to go and order. And like I said, you will fall in love with this. It's not just for bendos. You can actually use it for your clothes as well. As stated at the beginning of the video, as you can see, I do not have a belt on, and it's a reason why. I want to show you guys how I use the bandos um, as a belt. And I want to start off by saying bandos do come in the wider form and a thinner form at the end. As you can see, it's like a slanted end. And the bigger ones, the wider ones, let me say that, have a straighter end. And just me with my brain always working, I just love the slanted end versus the straighter end it just to me it looks better i love to use the wider bandos around the neck but i also use them as a belt i did in las vegas as you can see here it's not a very very clear picture but i did use the wider bandeau so i'm not saying you cannot use the wider bandeau as a belt but here it is and of course on both sides and like i said i just grabbed one and basically you just put it in like you do a belt and no I do not worry about what side is on I put it through and I do usually take the tags off as you can see I have not worn this one but I do take the tags off and the price tag as well so the LV tag and the price tag most definitely does come off I do not sell my bandos so I don't have to worry about anyone asking for a tag because they're mine and I will never sell a bando anyway I love bandos so I just get it and tie it here at the front okay and here it is I love how it fits I love how it looks let me take this. This was the tag. And so I never wore this bandeau and it looks so cute. Pick up a bag. So it's an outfit right here. That simple. Or you can spice this up a little bit if you want. It might be too much for you, but you know, me, I'm always thinking overboard. Let's add a jacket. I wanted to use a jacket, but then I was like, hey, this gives me kind of a business vibe. So we can add a blazer. And as you can see, I still have the bandeau on. If I had a white shirt on under here, or a black shirt, this will be perfect. And as you stated, the bandeau's still on, and this is so cute. Tell me what you think, guys. Have you ever tried to wear a bandeau as a belt? I think this is so sexy, it's so classy, and it's just a different type of vibe. Like, I'm really feeling myself right now. <laughs> okay, so I am now going to show you how the belt looks with the wider bandeaus. And like I said, I prefer, I prefer the thin, the thinner ones with the slanted ends. This now is the wider bandeau with the straight end. Of course, beautiful on both sides. Let's put her in the same way we did the thinner bandeau. And if you want, 
like a wider look. Like it's belts come in thicker, smaller, skinnier. It just depends. Like I said, this is just like a belt because I have some belts that are thin and I have some belts that are a little bit wider. So it totally depends on you. And this is considered a wider bandeau as stated. And here it is. Like I said, you might like this look a lot more. So which one are you going with? The wider bandeau for a belt or the thinner bandeau for a belt? Again, the bag. Some heels, some LV shoes, some flip-flops, just depends on how you feel. So, guys, do not get it mixed up. Just because LV sell bandos and you see them um, around the head, you see them uh, on your bags, be creative. Do what you want with the bandos. And these bandos can be pretty expensive, guys. So, hey, wear them as a belt. You can wear them as a bow tie. You can wear them as a tie, as pictured here. Do whatever you want. So now let's move on to putting these bandos on some of these LV bags. Before we move to the bags, I totally forgot to show you guys. This is one of my favorite ways as well. You can have a collared shirt on. And like I said, you can have this under a blazer and tie it. It's just right here on the side. It goes perfect with a dress. So if this was like an all black dress, this would have been so beautiful. Just something so simple. Or you can also tie it here. And with the blazer, just have it around your neck. Like I said, you can do so much with these bandos. I even have one where I had it around at the front here. And just tie it, as you can see here. So be creative, guys. I mean, really, really be creative. I love bandos. That's why I say I would never sell bandos. When I see people selling bandos, I'm like, for what? You can do so much with them. Okay, so now let's move on and let's try to spice up some of these LV bags. So as you can see, guys, I put my bandeau back on. It was just too cute to me. So I have it back on. And guess what? I took the tag off, the LV tag, and I'm still alive. My bandeau is still alive. Nothing is wrong. So guys, do not freak out. And like I said, I will not be selling my bandeau. So this is okay. I do not leave them on. I know how to care for them. I do not need this tag. Okay, I am going to start by telling you some of the bags I do not put bandos on. I do not put bandos on and for certain reasons. And you might not agree with me, but this, like I said, this is just my mind working, my creativity and how I feel. Bags like this, the LV Marshmallow Bag. I will not add a bandeau to this bag only because to me it has a lot going on. I would not want to take the beauty from this bag. It's absolutely gorgeous. Even though I love wrapping bandeaus around still, when I say still, I will tell you why I say still, around still totes like this, tote handles, because the bandeaus do not flop and it just looks neat to me versus a um a toe handle that flops down like on the speedy 
And on the Animal BBs, I do not like wearing bandos on those type of bags. But this here, it does have a stiff tote handle to where a bando will go perfect. But with this bag having so much going on, I would not tie a bando around this bag. It's beautiful as is. So it will stay just like this. Now, if I do want to add, you know, spice it up, I do have a bag charm that I can use, that I use here, that's on the Montessori. I can take this key charm off because it's all gold and this has gold hardware. And so if I do, if I don't have the strap on, I can add this to the side of the bag if I want. And I will say this is as far as I will go with this bag. So I would not add a bando on to this bag only because of how beautiful it already is. And I think a bando would take away from this bag. Okay, the next item I would not add a bando to is the Mansori backpack. Only because of the wear. Because it does go on your back. And I would not want a bando up there at all. And you cannot detach the straps. So the bando would basically be in the bag. And most of the time, I have my Montessori on just like this. And so I would not want a bando here at the top, even though this would be the perfect type of tote handle for me to use. And like I showed you guys, I would have a key charm but the Montessori as you can see it has a d-ring it came with a bag tag and let me see where I have it in one of my shelves this is the bag tag that came with the Montessori but I thought it was absolutely cute on my Palm Springs mini and so I took it off just to spice it up a tad bit and so this is why the Montessori does not have its bag tag on, but it does, again, comes with this D-ring. And so, I would just use a LV key charm and put it right here. So, you can use the bag charm that it comes with, or you can take it off and change, change it out with just some key charms. Okay? Again, no bando, only because of the wear on the back. Moving on to this beauty here. I've already showed you guys how we look with a bando. As you can see, I have the reverse and also the money ground with bandos on. So this is the perfect top handle to where you can wear a bando on this beauty. It does have D-rings, but of course, I do not wear it as a backpack. Like the Montessori, I do wear it as a crossbody. And inside of the bag, I do have the pochette Matisse strap because that's how I wear it. So I am just going to show you a preview of how this bag looks with a bando. On the Palm Springs Mini, and I just chose this bando because it was... Just easy for me to grab. It was right there in the front. And as you can see, I always try to go to the end. And I'm not an expert. <laughs> I'm not an expert. Sometimes I do this three or four times until I get it right. And so I just tie it in a knot. I try to go at the very end as far as I can. And I just basically wrap around. And I do try to keep it on one side, one color on one side. And at the end, you can cover this up to match the other side of the bando. And as stated, as you can see, I just keep overlapping, keep overlapping until I'm towards the end.
And so now I do kind of measure it. And so where now that I see that it kind of is the same length, I go around and and bring it forward. And here it is. Just simple and like I said, guys, it's no perfect, but here it is. Quick, like I said, if you want to cover this up and you want to make it like the same color, you can flip it if you want. But for me, it doesn't matter because I get stopped all the time when I have this bandeau on there. So I don't tie it. When I first do it, I don't tie it. They're very tight just in case I do want to flip it over as stated, as you can see. And then I go back and tighten it up. So that part isn't showing. Okay. So here it is. And so you can walk around with it as a tote if you want. And guys, again, like I said, you just have to measure right here. As you can see, it's not the same length, but you get the point. You just constantly, constantly keep wrapping until you get it where you want it to go. Okay, so bags like this. As stated, with the top tote handle, I love using bandos for them. Perfect example. Bags like this, as stated, I do not use bandos at all. I just add a cute little bag charm here on the front. And it's still creative, guys. You don't have to tie a bando on every tote handle. For me, it's a no. Speedies, Animal BB, Never Fools, and of course, the On The Go Tote. PM, MM, all of them. I do not put a bando around the handles, okay? One of the most popular ways to wear the beautiful pochette matisse is with a bandeau as well and i do have a picture on instagram if i tie bandeaus on all these bags i will be here forever but i will try to get a video up of me just putting bandeaus on my bags just so you guys can see and like i said i'm not an expert guys there's no right way or wrong way it's just how you want your bag to be presented and like I said, um, I am picky with it as far as the length goes on both ending sides. So I do try to make it the same length, but whatever way the bando turns is okay with me. So the pochette Matisse is most definitely a top candidate for a bando. And I do not use the larger, the wider bandos. I use the thinner bandos for the pochette Matisse because as you can see, you don't have that much room between the bag and the handle. And so I think that the smaller, the thinner bandos will be a lot better. I also want to show you guys how I actually wore a bandeau as a strap. And I had it on this beauty here. Me and my husband actually went out to sushi. I wanted to try something different. This is the beautiful vanity PM. As you can see, this is the strap <laughs> here. And I just thought it was so cute, guys. Like I said, you might not like it, but with me, it's just creativity being different. But every time, I promise, every time I wear my bandeau on my back, I always get stopped. I always get stopped by someone and so only thing i did as you can see this has an opening here it has an opening here and i just slid it right through the opening and i just tied a knot the other side i love putting them on the side it's still just as beautiful as having them at the front okay so on the side and you can make these a lot shorter if you want it just depends on how long you want your 
strap to be. You can have it as a tote and still have this down hanging if you want. Or like I said, you can put this over your shoulder and wear it as a shoulder bag. Or you can do it just like how I had the Palm Springs Mini and you can continue to tie it around because this is the perfect top handle for a bandeau. So either way, guys, it's totally up to you. Let me tighten it some more. There's no right way or wrong way to wear your bandeau on your bag. So get as creative as possible. And you can do the same thing with this bag here. And I also showed you guys on Instagram, you do not have to wear the multi-pochette like this. I hardly wear my multi-pochette with both pochettes attached. I showed you how you can use that strap. You can also replace this as well with a bandeau. It's totally up to you. You can also use this as a front pouch with this beautiful strap that it comes with. This can also be used as a belt and decorations just depends on how you do it. Okay, so if you see here. So do you see that? I just spiced up this whole look. You can leave the bandeau on. It's totally up to you. Or you can take the bandeau off. I love it. It is just, just that simple. So so cute and also if you want come on now guys come on now guys <laughs> And you still have the larger pochette still on the strap. Tell me your girl not working with something. I'm telling you. So look at here. So you have the smaller pochette here in the front. You just turn this into a fanny pack. <laughs> a bum bag here at the front. And you still have the larger pochette if you just want that classy, that classy look. And, of course, the strap is adjustable if you just need a crossbody. So, guys, it's so many different ways you can be creative. Like, I just took off a bandeau from around my waist as a belt. And I just converted a multi-pochette, the smaller pochette, into a bum bag. Just be as creative as possible, guys. And I'm not saying that the wider bandos are not good. I do love them. For me, it just serves different purposes. And as you can see here, I have the Neverfull. And for the Neverfull, it's, it's okay to add a bando if you want. But for me, no bandos at all. I love to add the extenders. I think this is so cute. And use these D-rings right here on the side. And here you go. Just add this creative on this end. It just adds some spice to your bag. 
And these extenders, the pearl extenders, are from my website, Swag My Bag Accessories. I will leave that information in the description bar. So, you can add a bandeau if you like. As for me, I do not like to add bandeaus around the straps. I just think this is so cute, so classy. There it is. And if you want to add it to both sides, you surely can do so. Here's the D-ring. And there you go. Looks like a brand new bag. So cute. But this bag is already beautiful and classy without anything on it. But if you want to spice it up and use these D-rings here on the side, you surely can. What was your favorite thing that I showed you? Are you just a key charm person? Um, do you get creative with the bandos? Do you get creative with the straps on the bags? Let me know in the comments. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video. As always, as always, as always, stay safe, stay blessed. Until next time, bye-bye.